I've just seen on Facebook Marketplace a really good listing. Do you know who Graham Kennedy is? <laughs> let's just let's just show our deep dark secrets of stuff we used to buy. I see it, but I don't believe it. I've never come across this before. I just think it's a good step to point out and have a chat about. You should be doing this or attending to this at least, I would say every two to three months. 45% of you guys that are watching these videos have yet to hit the subscribe button. It's my goal to try and get that number down to 40%. So if you're enjoying these videos at all, it'd be amazing to get you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, but it has a massive effect on the success of this channel moving forward. And by having you a part of the community, I can promise you that I'm gonna make the most consistent uploads that I possibly can and have the quality of these videos to be the best that they can be. I look forward to having you on board. My mission for today, if you should so choose to accept to join me, is to go out and do some thrifting. I'm gonna try and find some stuff to put into our eBay store today. And then I wanna take you through some sales results that have come through over the last couple of days. And I also wanna take you through a really, really important step if you wanna be serious about selling on eBay. So stick around for that. I'll hold that for the end of the video. Let's go and try and find some stock. We're here at the first store. I see it, but I don't believe it. Have a look at all of these video games that have literally just hit the shelf in this thrift store. Blown away, guys. I've done some serious comp research and I pulled out all of these games here that I thought were going to be worth quite a bit of money until I did my research and I realized that they didn't even hit a $20 price point, which is the minimum that I play with when it comes to video games. So unfortunately, all of these games at $7 worth of a purchase price had to be left behind, but I did come away with some pretty good results. Oblivion here, The Elder Scrolls 4. Um, this was the game of the year edition. I should be able to get about $25 to $30 on that. Um, Guitar Hero Metallica, a bit of a deceiving one here. This one actually goes into $30, so that was an awesome find. At seven, I should make some pretty good profit there. And then this one here, we've got Transformers, a Fall of the Come Cybertron. On, um, this one goes for about $50 yeah. to $70, give or take. So I'm going to go for about 60 bucks worth of a listing. But check this out. For 4 bucks, hiding in the Nintendo DS game, we've got Pokemon Black on Nintendo DS. Australian copy. I think this one should be okay. I asked the guys on Instagram, and they did say that it was authentic. So we're going to shoot for about 100 bucks on that and hope for the best. But what an insane start to this thrift haul. Uh, we've got this one as well, hiding in the cabinet for $30, lost in space. It goes for about 60 to 70, but at a, a $30 purchase price, I'm gonna leave that one back on the shelf. Um, had this musical instrument up there saying 335 for 150, but I ended up passing. Uh, if it was a slow day in the thrift, I might have dabbled on that. Um, but yeah, we moved on and I did find some Death in Paradise season one to four on DVD for 10 bucks. I should be able to convert that into probably $35, I would say. A full series set of 16 seasons sells for about $160, so it is a show worth grabbing. Um, these Wiggles DVDs can do well in bulk bundles, but I wanted to warn you guys in this video today, uh, like you should be doing with all of your media, just check for the quality of the discs. I had a look at these, and unfortunately, as you can see here, the kids have got into it, and that is a very common thing with Wiggles DVDs. Um, these shoes as well, the quality test didn't quite hit here. Um, as you can see there, there's some cracking on the lower sole, um, so I did have to leave it behind. But this next find was a really interesting one. I've never come across this before. We've got a massive folder of authentic, don't get me wrong, these are genuine DVDs, but there's no art cover, there's no DVD case, but there are a bunch of great TV show seasons. As you can see here, The Monsters, that sells for about $35 on eBay. We've got the complete set there. I ended up grabbing it because of this. Home Improvement, every single episode, season one to eight, sells for $80 on eBay when it's complete in its case. How much do you reckon we can get for it in just loose DVDs? All right, guys, we've got a slight change of plans. I've just seen on Facebook Marketplace a really good listing, so much so that I couldn't refuse, and the buyer is at home, so we can go and pick it up straight away, which is great. Uh, I think the thing with Facebook Marketplace is you've just got to strike straight away. You can't muck around. Uh, so I was going to continue thrifting. I won't do that anymore. I think this is definitely going to be worthwhile. So. It's about a 20 minute drive away. Let's rip over there now and we'll see what it's like. Yeah, great. Right, 150 mate, let's, yeah. let's do it. So there's a couple of things with this Facebook Marketplace listing uh, that I wanted to talk to you about. First of all, I'm really happy with the deal. The items look like they're in great condition, no scratches on disc, and the PlayStation 4 video game console plus games is always a fast selling item on eBay. So I'm not really too concerned from a sell through rate perspective. 
uh, and I'm pretty excited about the profit perspective as well. Um, first of all, let's have a look at the items and I'll break down exactly how much I think they're gonna be worth. All right, so here's a good look at everything. Firstly, we've got a really good PlayStation 4 console here. I had a look on eBay to see what this would be worth with two controllers, and I believe that I'm gonna be able to get about $200 uh, for just this allocation here, console only. Um, but what I do is I always break down the value of the video games individually. Everything that you can see here in the shelf is all priced up at a minimum of $20. So when I was on eBay, I was checking the price points of all of these games and all of these games came over $20 and all of these games fell under. One of the best games in the allocation was this one right here, Crash Bandicoot, It's About Time, number four. Um, that sells for about $50 just on its own. So rather than losing its value by putting it into a bundle, I'm gonna sell it individually for $50. Um, then you've got some other games down here, starting off with Need for Speed Payback and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Both of these games were selling for about $20 as a starting point, so I'm gonna do those individually as well. I believe Red Dead Redemption sells for about $25. Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater and Burnout Paradise also sell for about 25 bucks. Uh, so they're two really good games. They'll all have really quick sell-through rates. Um, which is fantastic. Um, this one here as well, Need for Speed Heat. That was selling for about $30 on its own. And then you also had Cyberpunk 2077, uh, which actually really surprised me. This one goes for about $35, believe it or not. I actually thought it'd be more worth maybe 10 to 15. So when you add up all of those figures, that turns into a number of listings for my eBay store, but $200 worth of value, making the entire deal worth about 430 bucks. I've also been doing a bit of work on these DVDs, the loose discs. I've actually found some DVD cases that I'm not selling on eBay. I pulled the artwork out and uh, we've just got them as empty clear cases. So whether or not that helps the resell, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Home Improvement, I've listed that up for 50 bucks. And then I've got a couple of other shows. Um, we've got some Yu-Gi-Oh there as well. We've got A Nightmare on Elm Street, Inspector Gadget. And then we've got the complete series of the monsters. So, you know, I've only looked out these, which is one, two, three, four, five listings. It's $140 worth of listings, but will it actually go on to sell? It's going to be a little interesting experiment, but I thought for $20, it was definitely worth the, uh, the risk, uh, in my opinion. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. If you had this situation where you found a bunch of loose discs in the DVD space, would you bother to try and resell it? Don't let it deceive you. It is freezing. I know, it's so blue. Well, we say freezing, but what what do you actually think it is? Like 18 no. degrees? No, I reckon a bit colder. Oh, you reckon? Maybe. It, it feels cold. And you're in a t-shirt. I know. Wow. Um, yeah. You might have to get, and you said you weren't feeling well either. No, I'm sick this week. There's always something. Sick this week. Mm -hmm. uh, how's the, how's your mouth? Yeah. It's a bit sore still, to be honest. Thought he was at the dentist oh. uh, last week in the vlog. Yeah, love um, that. Yeah, so feeling okay? Yeah. Nice. Yep. All right, guys. Um, it's a Monday morning. We're back uh, for another week. We had a really good run at the flea market uh, just yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd turn the camera on again and continue to show you guys what we're buying, what we're selling. Um, Monday, as you guys will know, the regular viewers, uh, huge shipment day for us. Um, you know, we've got 20 sales to put in the mail bag today. Um, some really good sales. We're actually going to do the top 10 today and we're going to work from worst to best. So stick around for the best one because that was an awesome sale. Um, you want to do the first one? Sure. Let's do it. First one is this Ringers Western 4X hat um, that Matt brought at the flea yesterday actually, which was in the vlog. Um, we had one of the viewers comment on it, Greg. Greg. Yeah, um, that he wanted to buy, purchase it. Um, I got it for five and Greg bought it for 25. So we'll ship that out for him first thing this morning. Um, yeah. Thank cheers. you very much, Greg. That flea market video is definitely one to look at, guys. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll just link it into the description below of this video. But that was obviously one fine, but there was a stack of really good fines. And I took $100 to the flea market and tried to turn it into as much money as I possibly could. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Do you know who Graham Kennedy is? No. That's him there. Graham okay. Kennedy. Actually, that's probably a better shot there. B 
Bert Newton and Graham Kennedy, two Australian TV icons. Mm. A little bit before our time, though, Courtney. Yeah. Um, as you can see there, the black and white of the TV screen. Yeah. Um, the best of uh, Graham Kennedy, Channel 9. Um, this one here was bought in a thrift store, I think it was like a week and a half to two weeks ago. Uh, and we paid just a dollar. We mm. paid a dollar for this. Nice box set, volumes one to three. And we got a $25 bread and butter sale price. Mm -hmm. um, there were a couple of comps on eBay, nothing too significant, but because it was brand new and sealed, um, that will get a better sell through. And um, the fact that we only bought it for a dollar tells us that we're going to make some profit. Um, so one into 25, we should make about 12 to $15 in profit on that. Um, cool little one, cool little winner. This one here, books, my favorite category. Zach Power, um, Matt got this in the thrift about two weeks ago for $5. And we had it listed for 35 and took a best offer at 30. So pretty good, pretty fast turnaround. And that would be a small, no, that would be a medium. It'll be a medium, but maybe even a box. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll put that into a box just because those bigger items, you could put a ton of bubble wrap around it and fit it into a satchel, but no. I don't know. It might just be easy to whack it into a box. We've got a lot of books now, guys. We have actually been doing some book sourcing. I found some, well, actually, wow, we've got four tubs wow. of books. I, I was Ooh. buying a lot of books last week. Interesting. I think based on your motivation. Mm. But um, we've got a How to Train Your Dragon there. Um, we've got a Harry Potter book set. Hard to see, but there's a Harry Potter book set down there too that is listed oh. actually for $100. Wow. Yeah, Harry Potter books can do well. So, look guys, it is a category that by necessity of needing stock we look into. Mm. But uh, you do get some quick turnarounds with the complete sort of sets like this. Yeah. So that was a good little sale. A horrible tub this one it is we have a look at it let's just let's just show our deep dark secrets of stuff we used to buy to be to be fair this this isn't stuff have a look at it all it's just a mixed jumble of small action figures these simpsons things hopefully they're in a bundle um <laughs> we've got to look into it we bought these dragon ball z figures off uh off um god where do we get them that they're over a year ago yeah um, but we did sell these that came out of that tub. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got Charmeleon and we've got Charizard. And the reason why these have sold for the price they have is because they are genuine. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you know that these little critters are the real deal? And it's actually Tommy uh, written just in the middle there. I don't know if you picked that up on camera. Mm. And then there's also Tommy on the back here as well. Just there. So that... Is a really good little telltale sign to let you know that these are genuine and not fake. Um, they're also pretty heavy as well, but we got a $40 sale price for literally those two little figures. Yeah, wow. Um, so if you were at a garage sale and you found a big allotment of these, um, and they all had Tommy written on them, you'd make yourself some pretty decent money in an item that you probably wouldn't assume would be worth anything. Um, but we'll just put them into a satchel, I think, and get them out the door. Yep. Another Pokemon here are these, I think we did one in last week's, um, what sold as well. We had all of these Pokemon cards listed individually um, and we decided to delete all the individual listings and put them into bundles. Um, these ones are the same as last week with the border being shadowless that Matt talked about. Um, so that's a bundle of 10 and we got a $50 sale price for them. We sold the one last week for $85. Yeah. Uh, I think there was about 15 in that bundle. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, the reason why there was two different listings is because they were double ups. Oh, okay. So these ones here were just the second set of 10 that were the matching of the first set, but they both sold in the space of two weeks. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, old school vintage Pokemon cards. I don't need to tell you guys that that's a good item to sell on eBay. Mm. Um, nice to get 50 bucks on that. And we yep. will put it in another tracked envelope with uh, a little bit of padding. I love the fact that these were a size 16 monster mm. pair of football boots yeah. and therefore there wouldn't have been a lot of listings for a size 16. Um, certainly not a really good quality pair of footy boots like these. Um, these are the Lethal Tigrears, I think they're called. Um, plain black and gold, uh, size 16, in great condition. I paid $10 in a thrift store on Friday and then we had them sell over the weekend for 60. Um, so they will go into a medium satchel just because they are a bigger shoe. I think as soon as you go over a size 10 or 11, mm. maybe 11 or 12, it goes into a medium, um, depending on the shoe. But when you sell it for 60 and you're buying it for 10, putting it in a medium satchel isn't too bad at all. So um, definitely a brand for you guys to be looking for. Asics, footy boots, they generally do pretty well. These ones here, very slow sell-through rate, but 
How do you say it? Sacconi. Sac well, I don't know. Sacconi or Sacconi. Have a look at the laces on those things. Yeah, they're extreme. <laughs> wow. We went internationally to the USA. So we got a $40 sale price for a 25 shipping. So 65 in total. Can't remember how much we bought them for or where we bought them. No, it was so, so long ago. Another individual video game that was bought on Friday in the thrift. So a couple of same video sales, which is good. Uh, we've got Pokemon Black. Uh, we actually had a really nice view of the channel because what I did is I actually put this on Instagram and I asked the guys if this was authentic or not and everybody sh uh, shot back a message and they were like absolutely genuine um, for multiple reasons. But um, they reckon that the ones, a bit of info that I got from the, from the viewers on Instagram, as soon as you get an Australian copy of the Nintendo DS Pokemon Black or whatever from a Nintendo DS perspective, if it's Australian, it generally gets um, faked less. Mm. So you stand a better chance of it being genuine if it says Australia on it. Right. Listed it up for $100. It generally sells between 100 to 110 Can fall below 100 sometimes, but I went with the 100 bucks and it sold instantly. Mm. Again, Pokemon. You saw the Charmander and the Charmeleon or mm. the Charizard before selling. Um, Pokemon cards. Yeah. Video games that are Pokemon. Um, so that was epic. We had a viewer of the channel as well shoot me a note on Instagram and he was like, I've got a case for this game oh. and he's generously sent it to me. Oh. So it's coming, but we've already sold the game. Oh, so are we gonna wait? we're not going to wait for the case? No, because it was sold just as, as game only. <laughs> Come on. Just sold as game only. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what we'll do. If you, if you haven't yet sent it, um, that viewer, um, we don't need it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter without. But we've, thank you. Yeah, but, but thank you very, very much. <laughs> All right, this one here, another, what is this, a console? <laughs> no, it's a Panasonic Blu-ray DVD player. Um, Matt picked this up at a cash converters, actually. Um, he said they had a buy one, get one free deal. So we got this for a $25 purchase price, and we've sold it for $105. $105. You'll see that we are starting to pick up a lot of these hard goods, guys. Mm. Um, so we've got one, two, three there we've got a big guy up here we actually bought this at the same uh cash converters as we bought this mm. and this was only last week so these yeah. items are selling for over a hundred dollars for very very good money and we're making good profits so we've got five there one gone four to go and i'm going to just keep trying to find them because i'm loving the sale prices that we're getting and before we were doing the dvd vcr combo players and blu-ray players we were selling a lot of consoles um mm. for video game category and um I'm loving this category as well because the average sale price is going up and up and up because of these categories that we're now selling. Um, so this here is an Xbox One console. Uh, it does have a remote and it's got its uh, cable as well. I think that's the only cable it needs for the Xbox One. Um, anyway, we listed this up and it sold for $160. So a ton of bubble wrap, a ton of butcher's paper. I'm gonna have to go to Bunnings mm. yet again. Mm -hmm. So we just fly out of this stuff. I know so many people have given so many great suggestions around bubble wrap. We just continue to do what we do, <laughs> which is an inefficient way. It is. But we don't have a lot of room in here, really. Well, we don't. <coughs> um, no. So we're going to bubble wrap the hell out of it. We're going to put it into a box. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Uh -huh. A couple of boxes, but I will go to Bunnings and I'll sort that situation out now because that is the end of what's sold. Mm. So one really important step I think everyone with an eBay business should be doing is attending to the inventory that they actually already have. It's always fun to go out and buy the new stuff, but I really do think that paying attention to what you've got existing and tweaking it, manipulating it, changing things up as you see changes on the outside in the sense of postage for us at this, at this stage with our DVDs, um, you need to make changes and make moves. And Courtney and I have done that. We're in the middle of doing that, as you can see. Courtney's been piling up all of these DVDs that were once, in our minds, legitimately good listings. Um, they're all TV shows, so the movies superseded well, well, years ago, to be honest. We haven't done movies for a long time, but even the TV show part season sets we were doing for a while, that's now no longer. Um, so Courtney's looking through from a $15 or less price point, and a lot of these uh, movies and, and TV, or TV shows that you're seeing here um, all fell below $15 worth of an active listing. So we've just taken it out of the store and I'm going to be putting it onto Facebook Marketplace um, to get rid of it. Um, and then we're just moving all of these. Uh, this Basically, this bookcase is going to be superseded into 
these tubs. We've got some space over here, and then I'm gonna move this out of the way as well. So it's gonna be this entire bookcase for DVDs moving forward. That'll free up this bookshelf, and this bookshelf is actually gonna be housing more video games because we're seeing video game sales do really well, and we can find a lot of these video games with our connections. Uh, we're gonna go see Selwyn on Wednesday with a really big private pick coming up, and that's gonna be a lot of these video games. So we need to make some more room. We are still gonna buy DVDs, but we're just not gonna buy the part season <laughs> sets. We're gonna buy complete TV show box sets that you're seeing in here. So this sort of stuff will remain, but we're gonna phase out of doing stuff like this. So I just think it's a good step to point out and have a chat about. Um, Courtney's also re-skewing everything. Well, these actually weren't skewed on the bookshelf, uh, but she's putting them into a skewed tub. And then that skewed tub, as you can see here, um, this was on the bookshelf earlier today. And uh, Courtney skewed it up with number 38. And it's sitting there now ready to be sold. So super important step. You should be doing this or attending to this at least, I would say, every two to three months. Uh, very, very important to keep those active sales coming in. If you missed that flea market video that we spoke of a little bit earlier, I'm going to leave it for you right here. So many great items that have already gone on to sell.